Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is that time again for me to hit you guys with another Monster Bass uh, box. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button and follow me along. Um, I think the channel has come a long way since I've started. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people and it really means a lot that people are watching as well as interacting and commenting. I've had people uh, through messages as well as in person ask me a lot of questions about my setups and how to fish certain techniques. So that makes me feel really good knowing that people are actually watching this and listening to some of the things that I have to say. Uh, by no means am I a professional angler. I don't consider myself a professional angler, but I do like the fact that people are asking me questions about this and I feel like I'm actually um, educating some people to some things within bass fishing. So thank you to everybody who has either dropped comments uh, through the channel or if you're in the Arkansas area, the central area, and you've seen me in public and you've actually asked me questions, I greatly appreciate it. And I would uh, greatly appreciate if you would continue to support the channel. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like the videos. Drop comments about anything, whether it's fishing related, uh, my tactical shooting, anything like that. As well as, I am still uh, doing my fitness stuff. And I am still a big user as well an ambassador for the Bucked Up brand. So if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to drop comments, ask me questions, and I will do my best to get that information to you. And if you see me in the Benton area, Benton, Arkansas, I do go to the Planet Fitness in Benton. So if you see me there, come up, say what's up to me, uh, give me a shout out, whatever. If you're looking for that code, I can drop you that code. Uh, give me your phone number and I'll shoot you a text message with the link to the store. All of that good stuff. So that way you can get you some great booked up products. As well as shoot me some messages and I will get you guys set up. So that way you can get you a Monster Bass subscription. Now, let's talk about Monster Bass. What is Monster Bass? People, if this is your first time hearing about Monster Bass. Monster Bass is a monthly subscription lure company. They work with a lot of the top brands, Strike King, Z-Man, uh, we've gotten baits from Lunker Hunt. A lot of the top brands that you see the professionals talk about and hear about, um, Monster Bass has it. I, I don't think they're going to get anything from the Guggen Squad, only because Guggen Squad puts together their own little box with their lures. But, I mean, I've, I've heard great things about the Guggen Squad baits, but as of right now, Monster Bass has been working with, like I said, Strike King, uh, Z-Man, uh, Lunker Hunt, a lot of those name brands, as well as a lot of small companies who are trying to uh, make their mark in the fishing industry, and they have uh, sent samples to uh, Rick. The, the guy who owns Monster Bass, he's tried them out, and if he likes their product and like what they're putting out, then he works with those companies and get those put out in their boxes as well. Uh, there is a company right here in Arkansas uh, called Thunderhawk, and a few of their baits have been featured in the Monster Bass box. So, um, Monster Bass works with a lot of the companies to get those baits out there. What sets Monster Bass apart from the other companies, it is a regional based thing. So, I'm going to try to explain this a little bit more. Here we go. Monster Bass has a national box and a regional box. The national box is pretty much, I guess you could say, like the other companies where they put together baits that should work for that time and that season, but they're going to work all around. That, that I'm pretty sure that's what your national box is. The regional box you pick the region you live in, whether you're on the west coast, east coast, north or south, you pick the region that you live in and the areas that you fish. And the baits that will be sent to you is, is almost specifically hand-picked to fish your areas, but it gives you a better chance of landing 
fish, putting fish in the boat, possibly even landing that PB that everybody is out there chasing whenever we go out on the water. Uh, the other companies, they don't do that. They just throw together a bunch of baits. Uh, you're going to catch fish, no doubt. You're going to catch fish. But Monster Bass tries to pick the baits that's going to be best for your region to increase your chances of catching those extra fish. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into this month's uh, Monster Bass box. And this month, uh, we're, we're coming out of the summer. And we're getting into fall. And so you still got some of that warm weather, but the fish are getting ready to transition, move out of that deep into the shallows because the water's going to be a little bit cooler. And they're trying to feed up heavily to get ready for that winter period because in the winter, fish are a little, you know, they're less active. They're not trying to use a whole bunch of energy because they're not feeding a lot. So those fish are trying to eat as much as they can now, so that way during that winter time they can kind of hunker down and conserve their energy. And so that's what this one is all about, is what are the best baits to fish this period for my region again, because I'm in the south. So this one is designed for the south region of fishing and it's going to give me the best baits to do that. So let's just jump right into it. As always. You get a cool Monster Bass sticker. This one is probably by far my favorite sticker from Monster Bass. Because as y'all can see there, it says MILF. Get your head out of the gutter, people. You zoom in on that. And what does that say? Man, I love fishing. So that's right. Get your MILF sticker from Monster Bass. Stick that thing on your truck, on your boat. Stick it up in the house, in the shop, wherever. Always cool. Uh, this is the card that you will get from Monster Bass if you want to do some online fishing. Uh, here's what you do. Download the Fishing Chaos app. Whatever the app store is, if you got iPhone, you're going to go to the app store. I believe Android, you go to Google Play, I believe. Search Monster Bass after you've downloaded the Fishing Chaos app. Search for Monster Bass, register and use the code that's on your card and it'll waive the $25 entry fee. Uh, the other rules will be explained to you on the app whenever you get there. So check that out and uh, enjoy some online fishing with a lot of people from the Monster Bass community. Uh, I believe we have other little knickknacks. No? Okay, so let's jump into it. So, got a little bit of a mess, but we're going to work with it. Okay, so as I said, water is starting to cool off. Water is getting a lot cooler. Uh, those summer days, we're starting to see the weather drop down, so that water's a lot cooler. So the fish are going to be moving up shallow. So you are able to get out there on the water early in the morning. One of the best things that you can throw is a topwater lure. Right here, we have a Catch Mock K. Uh, this is a popper. Uh, let's see here. This color is called Pearl. It's two and a half inches long and 0.35 ounces so I would throw this on whatever your top water setup is I think mine is a 6.6 uh, medium rod from 6 gill fishing uh, I believe I've got that one spoiled up with uh, I think 17 pound monofilament uh, fishing line and a popper the poppers if you notice that uh, that mouth how it has that nice a concave mouth that's for every time you pop that lure down it's gonna catch that water and make a spitting and it does cause a lot of commotion in the water causes some noise to get those fish's attention and it's gonna imitate possibly a dying shad or at least some kind of a shad or bait fish that's trying to flee and it's up on the water on top of that water popping and it's gonna draw those fish in and get those bites uh, remember with topwater baits, when you do see that blow up on the surface, um, you probably want to give it about a three count. That's to give that fish time after it's come up and hit that bait and turn and go back down. So when you see that blow up, you probably want to give it about a three count before you go to set the hook. If you set the hook as soon as you see that blow up, most likely you're going to jerk the bait away from the fish. So wait when you see that blow up. Give it about a three count. You should feel the pressure of that fish and then lean into it and set the hook. But that there is your, your first 
bait that's in the box. Uh, I'm going to read this off real quick. Okay, the suggested gear setup for this uh, type of lure is a 6'6 medium action glass or composite rod, 30 pound braided line. Again, you can use monofilament or braid. The braid, I would say, because you want to throw this close to cover. Uh, the reel is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. That's kind of that low medium, is what I call it, the low medium. Uh, that way you're not moving the bait too fast, but you have enough torque to muscle those fish out of cover. Uh, the locations you want to throw this. Uh, tulies or reeds, brush piles, open water, rip rap points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, please remember that these are treble hooks, exposed treble hooks, so it is a little easy to uh, get hung up. That's also a good reason why you want that uh, shorter rod so you can make pinpoint uh, cast, being very accurate with your cast and not throwing into that cover getting hung up. So that one is the first one. The second one here, we are talking about stick baits. And right here we have the Excite baits. This color, it doesn't say, but it looks like your standard uh, green pumpkin uh, baits, stick baits. And we have some to go along with that. Some Mustad 4 uh EWG hooks. And the setup that we're talking about here is well, it's just your basic old uh, stick bait fishing. Uh, let's see here if I can get this out. Now, with this setup for this particular uh, setup here, is you're fishing this lure weightless. Yes, you can set it up on a Texas rig and fish it with a weight, but this one is being fished weightless. And for that reason, the, the setup that we're going to be using is going to be a 7 foot medium heavy spinning rod uh, spooled up with 14 pound fluorocarbon line and a 3000 size uh, series spinning reel. And uh, you know a lot of people will spool this up depending on how you're fishing. You can either go uh, braid to monofilament or fluorocarbon leader or just straight braid. This one they're going with straight fluorocarbon. And I mean, it's gonna be your basic uh, Texas rig, weightless. And uh, show you this real quick. When you're rigging this up, you go in there. I would say go in to that first bend right there in the hook, and then just come right out like that. Run it down, turn it. Make sure you get it all the way right there. And then how that is laying right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. How the hook is laying right there on the side of the bait. That's how you want to line it up. So then all you're really doing is just kind of scrunching it. And then pulling it down. And then, well, that ain't very straight. Make sure it's straight. The straighter it is on your hook, then... The straighter your bait will look, which is a better presentation. You want to make this look as natural as possible. So you want to make sure you get it on there straight. There you go. Just like that. And then you throw it out there. And you're basically hopping it around. Um, again, the fish might be a little finicky. So by going to a weightless presentation and letting that lure, let that worm just fall down nice and slow, give it a couple of hops. Uh, you might even try to, you know, a slow, steady retrieve with the reel to mimic some kind of a bait fish, and that'll get you a lot of bites. But uh, and this this lure, this technique, you don't have to go with just strictly the. Um, you don't have to go strictly with the Excite baits. Any baits, uh, this one says a bio bait uh, Stinko. So bio bait is some of the other boxes had a different bait other than the uh, Excite baits. But any of your favorite uh, stick bait will work with this technique. Okay, and then the uh, next one that we're talking about, I did not get this one in my box, but it's talking about buzz baits, specifically uh, taking the skirt off 
Buzz baits, when they first came around, they had a skirt on it, uh, pretty much like your spinner baits. I don't have a buzz bait here in my shop. But uh, kind of a new trend has been taking the skirts off of those buzz baits and fishing them with maybe um, a swim bait or uh, some kind of a beaver style bait or something like that. I think one of my favorite that I have recently got and been trying out, uh, Strike King has come out with what they call their skipping buzz bait. It was specifically designed it was specifically designed uh, for you to be able to skip undercover. Uh, when you buy them, they come pre-rigged with either a rage tail uh, rage swimmer or you can get one of their rage tail uh, frogs. But you could put any kind of soft plastic on there and work that lure. And that's probably one of my newest favorites buzz baits to throw because you can still throw it in open water and stuff like that but it again it was designed specifically for you to be able to skip up under uh, cover uh, for, for that setup even though I don't have it but for that setup seven foot medium heavy rod 50 pound braided line 7.3 to 1 gear ratio and for that location you can throw it in grass two leaves two leaves or reeds brush piles, open water, rip wrap, docks, rocks, and trees. So, again, um, I didn't go out to the boat and grab one. I could have showed you how to do all of that stuff, but I didn't get it. So I'll have to show you that in another video, but that's also another lure in here. Uh, the next one is probably one of my favorite ways of fishing, and that is throwing a jig, but specifically a swim jig. And here we have a Stanley Jigs. This is a half ounce. Uh, it says assorted colors. It looks like a green pumpkin. But uh, throwing a swim jig is also it's a great way. It's very subtle. Imitates uh, brim, bluegill, shads, depending on your color. Uh, but it's a great way of catching fish. And to pair that up. They put in some Z-Man uh, Turbo Cross in the Joomba color. So, I mean, you just run the run the uh, the bait, run whatever your trailer is that you're fishing with, run it up on the hook. Um, I think what I have learned is if you have a swim bait style trailer, it's going to help keep that bait kind of low. And your more beaver style baits, it'll have more lift, so it'll keep it up high. So if you're fishing it over a grass flat or something like that, it'll keep it up high over that grass flat so you don't get hung up. And you'll be able to call those fish up out of that grass. And again, it'll keep it up kind of high. So if you're one of those visual guys where you like to see your bait as it's coming back to you and see that strike, then a beaver style bait would be great for that. A uh, cross style bait, so anything like that. But if you're trying to get it down a little bit more, you'd probably want to go with more of a swim bait profile. Then, well, uh, I'm sorry. The swim jig. We're going to use a 7 foot medium heavy action rod. We're going to throw it with 14 pound fluorocarbon, 6.31 gear ratio reel. Again, you don't want to fish it too fast. You don't want to burn it in. You don't want to fish it too fast. So that, that 6 to 1 gear ratio will be real good helping you slow down you know we get in a rush out there and you just want to burn it in but that slower gear ratio will force you to have to slow it down and concentrate on what you're doing and concentrate on those bites uh, the next one probably one of the coolest ways to catch a fish I have not got to experience it yet I'm still looking for it but catching fish on a frog there is something about you working that frog across some grass or lily pads or whatever and then you see that blow up on the water it it just it gets your heart going and for that we're gonna throw in here a lunker hunt frog this is their kraken series uh, half ounce in weight two and a half inches long Let's see if I can Uh, 
this is their woody color. It's a yellowish brown, nice long legs on it. And look at how soft that is. That is very soft. So when those fish are coming from behind and they bite down on that thing, when it smashes it, it exposes those hooks. Let's see if y'all can see that, how it exposes those hooks right there. You should have near perfect hookups every time. You, you, there shouldn't be a reason why you miss. Again, this is a topwater lure. So when you see that blow up, kind of, you know, give it that three count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. By the time you say three, you should be feeling the pressure of that fish trying to pull you. And that's that moment where you, you set the hook and you crack them. I mean, that's probably why they call this one the cracking. Because you're going to crack them. So remember, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then you set the hook. And if the fish didn't get it, because a lot of times the fish will blow up and they actually hit it. Um, if you got time, just keep working the lure. If not, you want to reel it in pretty fast so you can get it back out there to them and try to get them again. Best places to throw this thing is throw it over humps. You can throw it in open water, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. Frogs are really good at skipping up under cover and working them back out. So that's another thing, you know, work on that, skipping those lures up under that cover because fish like to hunker down under cover and ambush their prey. So if you can get your lure under cover, get your lures where nobody else is getting theirs, you have a better chance of catching those fish that are in there than everybody else that's out there on the water. Okay. And the last one that we got here is uh, we have some D Walker 100s. These are from River to Sea. These are swim baits. Uh, let's see here. Setup is going to be 7 foot medium heavy rod, 30 pound braid, or 14 pound fluorocarbon, 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. That is going to be determined on where you're fishing. If you're fishing near grass, um, I would probably fish, uh, spool up your reel with braid. If you're going to be fishing around your, your docks, your trees, your rocks, things like that, spool it up with the fluorocarbon. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this color is called. Green Pumpkin Red. Um, I would probably uh, rig these up with a... Uh, let me get one out real quick so I can get a better look at it. Yeah. Okay, so... So, yeah. So, it has a little little cut here in the belly and it has one up here on the top actually you can see where the hole is on this right about here where my finger is it has a hole so you can take you a, a jig head and run it in and come up on the top as an expose or you could probably rig this up with like a uh, uh, belly weighted a uh, swim bait hook and run it up through the bottom and out of the top but either way this looks like it'll be a really good lure to throw it's a good shad imitator or bluegill or something of that sort so I mean it'll be really good to throw and you can't go wrong with these kind of lures um, I would say throw it out there do a straight retrieve for a couple of times and if you don't get anything after that, then start playing with the retrieve. Maybe swim it a little bit and then let it die. Swim it a little bit, let it die. Play with it. Let the fish tell you what they're wanting in a meal. Like I said, right now, that water temperature is starting to cool off. So the fish are going to be a little bit more active because they're trying to feed up and get ready for the winter. So you should be able to catch a lot more fish with those swim baits if you're just doing a steady retrieve on it. And, I mean, you'll get lots of fish in the boat. And uh, that is it. That is all the baits that we got this month for September. 
like I said, some boxes will have a buzz bait in it. I didn't get a buzz bait, but hey, I'm not worried about it. I mean, I'm not going to get mad at the guys at Monster Bass. They're doing a lot of work. Uh, you can catch them on their Monster Bass channel on YouTube, as well as check out their social media because they're always posting stuff. Um, a lot of their pro staff guys are doing a ton of videos, putting out good content to try to educate people on how to use these baits, as well as other things. It's not all about the baits. Sometimes we do go on there and talk about uh, certain setups, tying certain knots, how to spool up your rod and reel, how to take care of your fishing equipment. You want this stuff to last a long time. So uh, check out Monster Bass on YouTube as well as their social media. And please keep hitting me up on YouTube, Outdoors with Creed. I've got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. And I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff done. But uh, that's all I've got. Again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, once you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell, turn on the notifications so anytime I do videos, you guys will get the notifications about it. If you like the video, please smash the thumbs up button, drop me some comments down below, let me know what you think. That's all I got. It's time for me to go hit the gym, got to get my pump in, but uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.